Are you flirting with me? Me, <laughs> <laughs> me. One of the most talked about movies of the season is sure to be Natural Born Killers, a violent and wildly satirical new film by Oliver Stone, which takes its target the way the criminals become celebrities when their cases are sensationalized by the media. The movie stars Woody Harrelson and Juliette Lewis in chilling over-the-top performances as Mickey and Mallory Knox, a couple of mass murderers who go on a national killing rampage, being sure to leave their names behind so their fame will grow. You ain't seen nothing yet. Robert Downey Jr. plays a tabloid TV reporter who is almost insane with excitement about the ratings possibilities in his exclusive coverage of the two. What do you think of Mickey and Miller, yeah? Hot. They're hot. Totally. I love Mickey and the Yeah, but uh, they're way cooler. Tommy Lee Jones is the warden of a prison which briefly holds Mickey and Mallory, and he, too, is intoxicated by his proximity to America's most famous killer. You write the script. You call it anything you want to. Showdown in Mojave, the extermination of Mickey and Mallory Knox. I don't give a shit. I'm going to give you my two best men, Kavanaugh and Wurlitzer. Oliver Stone's lacerating satirical style comes across in scenes like this one, where Mickey checks out his ratings. With the episode we did on Mickey and Mallory, it was one of our most popular. Ever do one on John Wayne Gacy? Uh, yeah. yeah. Who got the higher rating? Oh, you always blew him away. What about that crazy motherfucker Ted Bundy? Oh, that crazy guy. Uh, no, you, you got the larger deal since shit. You're big. Yeah, you're big. Yeah. What do I want to get to? about Manson? I want to see Natural Born Killers a second time. The first time it verges on visceral overload, and you have to stand back to find the satire and comedy that's interlocked with all of that violence. But of course, if satire doesn't go beyond its targets, it doesn't work. It has to be more excessive than what it's about. And in a time when the Bobbitt and Simpson cases win big network ratings, Oliver Stone is showing how crime and showbiz have become unholy partners. Hey, Jack! Nicky's back! This is probably the most far-out, challenging film yet made by Oliver Stone, who is not known for his restraint, and I think it's some kind of a masterpiece. I saw it a second time for just the reasons you're talking about, and, and it's worth doing, because I was once again impressed by the visual techniques that are employed here. And he does have a couple of good ideas. Um, television is the root of all evil in, in, in many other ways than just violence. Uh, by his most brilliant sequence is the parody of a sitcom. Oh, with Roddy Dangerfield as the abusive parent. Parent yeah. to yeah. the girl in the film. That, now that's brilliant. And showing that we have a laugh track mentality running throughout anything that comes out of the box. We'll just sit there and take it and yeah, take it. Amazing. And he put he points out, for example, that Dangerfield well does and says extremely yeah. hurtful and negative yeah. and wounding things. And because right. the audience laughs, it right. helps show how so much of this humor of pain in sitcoms is really not as funny as the soundtrack makes it sound like. That, to me, the, the most sophisticated part of the movie. The, the, the weakness of the film for me is in its third act. Once they go to prison, the, and you get this uh, Australian Geraldo. Wonderfully played by Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah. You know, interviewing them and manipulating them uh, for ratings. That gets a little old. We get the idea of that well, real I, quickly. See, I like that. I like that because it shows where tabloid television is going. I mean, eventually you are going to have, you are going to, if they get, get footage of murders taking place during a show, they'll run it. Oh, of and course people they will. Watch well, I think that's going and that's going to happen. Oh, I think that's going on right now. Well, but in other words, I think we all understand that, that this is as trashy as trash gets.
I'm talking about within the movie, okay. I felt that run off. Well, I, 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 well, okay then, it is a good film. Yeah, okay. Sure.